and then begin whenever you're ready. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Wrong script. Of course, I didn't go. And action. Hello, my name is Corey Bowman, and I'll be reading for Ricky. Hey, Ricky. Susan? It's good to see you. What have you been up to? I just got a marketing job with NASCAR. Really? Yeah, it's, it's great. Gosh, you look fantastic. Thank you. I mean, you've always looked good. I mean, I'm just, I'm happy for you. Thank you, but what about you? What have you been, what have you been doing? Well, they want me to race at Talladega next weekend, but... I know! I'm not gonna do it, because I'm done. I'm done with racing, I'm done with driving. Well, why would you do that? Because I've really moved on. I've sent in my applications to the real world, I'm so I'm hoping to hear back from that. I'm putting a lot of my eggs into the basket, the MTV basket. I'm also thinking about getting a gun and dealing crack, being a crack dealer, but not like a mean crack dealer, more like a nice one, kind of friendlier like, hey, what's up guys, want some crack? I'm just waiting to those two things to flush themselves out. You know what, Ricky? I've kept my mouth shut for a really, really long time, and I, I don't think I can keep my mouth shut anymore. Really? I, I just have to tell you that I think you're making a really big mistake. Really? Yes. Why is it that you always fall for people who leave you? Have you ever noticed that? Like, Carly and your dad and sponsors, and you always have to prove yourself. I don't, I'm, why? You gotta listen to me here, okay? You've got to win to get love. Everyone knows that. I mean, that's just life. Look at, look at Don Shield, legendary coach. Look at, look at the Asian guy who, look at the Asian guy who holds the world record for all those hot dogs, eating all those hot dogs in a row. Look at, look at Rue McLaughlin from, from the Golden Girls. All three people, great champions, all loved. Do you want to know why I think you should race again? Sure, why? Okay. Because it's what you love, Ricky. It's who you were born to be, and here you sit thinking. Well, Ricky Bobby is not a thinker. Ricky Bobby is a driver. He is a doer. And that's what you need to do. You don't need to think. You need to drive. You need speed. I'm going to cut you right there. Thank you. Okay, very good. And action. Hey, Ricky. Susan? It's good to see you again. What have you been up to? I got a marketing job in NASCAR. Really? Yeah, it's great. It's great. Gosh, you look fantastic. Thank you. I mean, you've always looked good. I mean, I'm just, I'm happy for you. Thank you, but what about you? How have you been, what well, have you been doing? Well, they want me to race Talladega next weekend, but... I know. I'm not going to do it. I'm done. I'm done with racing. I'm done with driving. Thank you. Okay. So Let's if go. you could slate and you're going to read with Sarah. All right. And uh, if you could slate, please. All right. Hello there. My name is Jake Demeshek, and I'll be playing the role as a Gamble in okay. the movie The Other Guys. All right. Whenever you're ready. You know what I just did? I just walked out that door, saw a couple of detectives, and I was about to start bad mouthing you behind your back. But I stopped myself. Because my pops taught me that a man who talks behind somebody's back is a coward. Wow. I actually appreciate that. Good. Because I'm going to tell you directly to your face. No, you don't have to. No. I don't like you. You're a fake cop. The sound of your piss hitting the urinal, it sounds feminine. If we were in the wild, I would attack you, even if you weren't in my food chain. I would go out of my way to attack you. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out into the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you, and then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. Okay, first off, a lion swimming in the ocean? Lions don't like water. If you placed it near a river or some sort of fresh water source, that makes sense. But you find yourself in the ocean? 20 foot waves? I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa coming up against a full-grown 800-pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends? You've lost that battle. You lost that battle nine times out of ten. And guess what? You've wandered into our school of tuna, 
And now we have a taste of lying. We talk to ourselves. We've communicated. Yeah. And said, you know what? Lying tastes good. Let's go get some more lion. We've developed a system to establish a beachhead and aggressively hunt you and your family. And we will corner your pride, your children, your offspring. Yeah, how are you going to do that? Well, we will construct a series of breathing apparatus with kelp. We will be able to trap certain amounts of oxygen. It's not going to be days at a time. But an hour, hour 45, no problem. That will give us enough time to figure out where you live. Go back to the sea, get more oxygen, and then stalk you. You just lost out your own game. You're outgunned and outmanned. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope. Thank you very much. Um, I actually have something that I want to okay. see you give you. And then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. OK, first off, a lion swimming in the ocean? Lions don't wipe water. If you placed it near a river or some sort of fresh water source, that makes sense. But you find yourself in the ocean? 20 foot waves? I'm assuming it's off the co coast of South Africa. Coming up against a full grown 800 pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends? You lost that battle. You lost that battle 9 times out of 10. And guess what? You've wandered into our school of tuna. And now we have a taste of lion. We've talked to ourselves. We've communicated. Thank you. Thank you. And if you could say, please. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Susan Shepherd Howell, and I'll be reading for the part of Susan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why is it that you always fall for people who. Wait, I lied. <laughs> you gotta listen to me here, okay? You gotta win to get love. Everyone knows that. I mean, it's just life. Look at Don Shola, legendary coach. Look at that Asian guy who holds the world record for eating all those hot dogs in a row. Look at Rude McCallaghan from the Golden Girls. All three people, all great champions, all loved. Do you wanna know why that I think you should race again? Sure, why? Okay, because it's what you love, Ricky. It is who you were born to be. And here you sit thinking, well, Ricky Bobby's not a thinker. Ricky Bobby is a driver, he is a doer. And that's what you need to do. You don't need to think, you need to drive. You need speed. You need to get out there, and you need to rev your engine, and you need to fire it up, and you need to grab a hold of that line between speed and chaos, and you need to wrestle it to the ground like a demon cobra, and then when a fear rises up in your belly, you use it, and it is good. And you know that fear is powerful because it's been there for billions of years and it is good and you use it and you ride. You ride it like a skeleton horse through the gates of hell and you win, Ricky. You win. And you don't win for anybody else. You win for you. You know why? Because a man takes what he wants. He takes it all. And you're a man, aren't you? Aren't you? Susan, I I've never heard you talk like that. Are we about to get it on? Because I'm as hard as a diamond in a knife storm right now. This is awesome. Are you climbing on the table right now? Yes, sir. I can't believe this. It's, it's like that white snake video where the girl crawls on the table. Yeah, just like that. What's her name? Tawny Katane. Yes, Tawny Katane. She's great. She's fantastic. Everyone turn away. Things are going to get crazy. We're going to make you. Oh my goodness. And action. Do you want to know why that I think you should race again? Sure, why? Okay, because it's what you love, Ricky. It is who you were born to be. And here you sit thinking, well, Ricky Bobby's not a thinker. Ricky Bobby is a driver. He is a doer. And that's what you need to do. You don't need to think. You need to drive. You need speed. You need to get out there, and you need to rev your engine. You need to fire it up. You need to grab a hold of that line between speed and chaos, and you need to wrestle it to the ground like a demon cobra. And then when fear rises up in your belly, you use it, and you know that fear is powerful because it has been there for billions of years, and it is good. That fear is, and you use it, and you ride. 
You ride it like a skeleton horse through the gates of hell, and then you win, Ricky. You win, and you win for anybody else. You don't win for anybody else. You win for you. You know why? Because a man takes what he wants. He takes it all, and you're a man, aren't you? Aren't you? You'll be reading with Sarah. If you could slate and tell us which character you'll be reading for. Hi, my name's Corey Cummings, and I'll be reading the part of Gamble. Okay. You know what I just did? I just walked out that door, saw a couple detectives, and I was about to start badmouthing you. Behind your back. But I stopped myself. Because my pops taught me that a man who talks behind someone's back is a coward. Well, I appreciate that. Good. Because I'm going to tell you directly to your face. You don't have to. No. I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. The sound of your piss hitting the urinal, it sounds feminine. And if we were in the wild, I would attack you. Even if you weren't in my food chain, I would go out of my way to attack you. If you were, if I was a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out into the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you. And then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. Well, first of all, in the ocean, that'd never work. Lions hate water. And uh, maybe if it was a stream or a small pond, that might, but uh, the ocean with 20 foot waves, not a chance. And uh, you're talking about South Africa, and the tuna down there are 800 pounds. Got 20 to 30 of their friends. Nine out of 10 times, you wouldn't stand a chance. And uh, assuming those nine or 10 times, well, now we've gotten a taste of lion. And me and my tuna friends, we talked to ourselves, we've communicated a bit. Yeah. And you know, we said to ourselves, lion tastes pretty good. We're gonna go get some more lion. And we're gonna go and hunt you and your family and your pride. Really? How are you gonna do that? We're gonna construct a series of tubes made out of kelp. We'll use these to trap air. And it won't be a lot of air, maybe about an hour to an hour and a half's worth. It'll be enough to get onto the beach and to find out where you and your family live and where you are. And then we'll go back to the ocean, get some more oxygen, and we'll come back and we will murder you, your family, and your pride. And once you know you fucked up, we'll re tell you that uh, you've been outgunned, outplayed, and outmatched. Guess you weren't expecting that, were you? No. Thank you. Action. So we'll construct a breathing apparatus with kelp. And uh, we'll be able to trap certain amounts of oxygen, not a lot, but uh, an hour to an hour and a half's worth. And uh, using that, we'll be able to go on to the beach, find you, and find your family. And when we do, we'll come back, we'll get some more oxygen, and you know what we'll do? We'll come back and we will hunt you down and kill you. We'll kill your family and we'll kill your pride. And after that, you'll realize you fucked up. And when you realize you fucked up, then you'll realize you were also outgunned, outmatched, and outplayed. Guess you weren't expecting that, were you? No. That was a 